CNBC is re- News is reporting, as one in five American adults wonder how to pay off their combined $1.6 trillion in student loan debt, Sally May executives and sales team members wrestled with a different question between meetings. Should they spend their time on their five-day paid trip to the luxury Fairmont Resort on Walalia Beach in Maui? Yep, Sally Mae brought more than 100 of its employees to Hawaii in August to celebrate a record year of $5 billion in student loans made to 374,000 borrowers. The company said it didn't pay for the employees' families to attend, but some did tag along. Sally Mae just sent 100 folk to the Fairmont, which is a pretty sweet property in Maui. Guys, this has reached the point that these scumburgers really don't even understand how bad their optics are on this. This has reached the point of sheer stupidity. Sally Mae and Navient are both getting hammered for their lack of service, their mistreatment of borrowers, and they're celebrating another five billion dollars that you and I as taxpayers government insured student loans were made to another 374,000 borrowers and they're in Maui dancing on your grave and your Congress continues to allow this to happen it, when are we going to wake up in this country and realize the idea of loaning an, a, an 18-year-old $100,000 unsecured to get a degree in underwater basket weaving is a stupid butt idea? When are we going to realize that the student loan problem is not just a problem, it's an epic plague, and Congress caused it, and Congress and only Congress can stop it? It's way past time to stop the federally insured student loan program. If it's so bad that you left-winger dingers out there think we have to forgive the loans, then how is it anything except intellectual dishonesty to continue making the loans while you're talking about forgiving them? That's just not logical. Now, politics in Washington has never been logical. And when people are trying to make a point to think you can, to get your vote and to get you to do stupid stuff like vote for them, they'll say and do anything. But if we're going to forgive $1.6 trillion in student loan debt, or we're even going to have a discussion about that, how is it okay that these scumburgers are working on their tan in Maui? How is this okay? Under what set of rules, under what set of screwed up toxic psychology could you possibly get to the idea that this is morally right? It's just not. And it's out of control. It's got to stop. So I was speaking to a group of highly influential business guys this morning, and I always get the question in the Q&A. Dave, do you ever get invited to Washington to... Tell people how to balance their checkbook there. I'm like, yeah, I get invited all the time. I quit going because the only reason they really wanted me there was so they could say when next time they did a campaign that Dave Ramsey came at their request. They were just trying to use my name and my brand for their political gain. They intended to do nothing. And so I quit wasting my breath. Instead, the best thing I can figure out to do is to activate all of you to either fire their butt or light their offices up until they decide they're going to stop making student loans. Oh, and by the way, there's another way we can put them out of business, right? Quit taking out student loans. Ta-da! I mean, even if they kept making them, if you just quit taking them out, we could make it where it isn't so cool for Navient and Sally Mae to have 100 scumburgers working on their tan at the Fairmont in Maui. Celebrating the fact that another $5 billion has been peddled, I could use other words, to 374,000 more borrowers. 
guys, this is ridiculous. And the more we get into this mess, the student loan thing, the bigger a problem we see it is, the bigger the predatory actions of these guys are, the uh, stupidity of the cultural acceptance where it has just become accepted that you can't be a student without a student loan. Dave, you're a dream killer. No, baby, I'm a nightmare killer. And I'm a nightmare for people who want to put people into a nightmare, too, because i got a big, loud voice, and I'm going to step all over your butt if you don't quit messing people over. So, yes, I'm a dream killer. If your idea of a dream is going $235,000 in debt to get a degree in left-handed puppetry from, a, from Harvard so you can say you went to Harvard, then I am here to kill your dream. Because your dream is getting ready to become a nightmare and the 42-year-old version of you, while you're still paying that crap back, is going to hate the 22-year-old version of you. And you're going to want to smack your stupid butt high school guidance counselor who didn't give guidance. And you're going to want to strangle your parents when they didn't stand up to you and say, no, you're 18 and you're stupid. You're not doing that. I want to kill nightmares. I want to kill nightmares. And if you want to call that killing a dream, if you if your dream is to go deeply in debt to get a degree so you can say you went to a certain school, I am here to kill your dream. Because you're going to find that to not be a dream when you get out here in the real world. Because in the real world, nobody gives a rip where you went to school. They just wonder if you learned something while you were there that's actually useful. That's all they want to know. Did you learn something? Just getting a degree is not your ticket. Just getting a degree from a famous university is not your ticket. Success is not caused by those things. Success is caused by hustle and grind and knowledge and hustle and grind and some more knowledge and character and integrity and perseverance and hustle and grind and some more knowledge. And this is where success comes from. It doesn't come from where you went to school. That's the dumbest butt thing I ever heard in my life. And you've got to quit telling these lies to each other out there, people. It's time to stop this mess. Hey, you guys go to Borrowed Future and download the Borrowed Future podcast and listen to those eight episodes. You're going to get as pissed off as I am when you, if you listen to this stuff. You're going to be going, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely asinine. Borrowed Future, wherever you listen to podcasts, borrowedfuture.com whether it's apple google play whatever spotify go listen to this thing there's eight episodes i think we've downloaded four of them now and it is absolutely rocking and uh this article wasn't even out when we did this we would have pounced on this thing good gosh